All right, today I'd like to show you uh, a little trick in Kden Live, how to make fast motion videos. So you take your clip, and I've already selected the, the amount of video that I want. I've marked in here, and I marked out where I want to put the point here. And you just drop it down to your timeline where you want it. <clears throat> now, in this case, I don't really, I don't want the audio. For whatever reason, the audio in Kden Live, when I do fast motion, it tends to, uh, it just plays it regularly. It makes it a larger clip. So I'll show you how to fix that. That is probably a bug in the system that could be fixed. Audio correction and just mute because I don't want the audio out of this. And that timeline is muted anyway. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> now I'm going to go to the clip and right click add effect and go down to where it says motion and where it says speed. So it's added in a little clip right here where there's a speed effect added to it. So I wanna make this faster. So I'm gonna make it, instead of it being 100%, I'm gonna make it 400%, not 4,000%, 400%. And click okay. And as you can see, as I hit uh, return, enter, as you like to call it, it's uh, shortened the clip. So it's gonna play back in fast motion here. Now it's going to play it back a little shaky because uh, it's not rendered yet. So I've found that <clears throat> uh, with this setting I've had before um, uh, where I do it in the editor, what happens is you end up with your uh, video kind of a little bit odd and it's hard to work with because you end up with your audio line with this extra space that you're in, that you're not using. So what I like to do is just move my uh, clip selector to just the point of the clip where this just the selected zone. You can do the full clip, but the, I, what I've found is sometimes it renders this whole minute and you don't need that. So I'm just going to select that. <clears throat> and I've changed my speed. I took away the audio. So I just go to render this. So this is just going to pre-render an existing file, which I've already rendered it, but I'm just going to show you for this tutorial on what to do. So you go to MP4. I like the CBR uh, selection for H.264. That allows me to select the bit rate that I want to use. And it also allows me to do two pass encoding where if you do others, it doesn't uh, doesn't allow you to do that or doesn't let, allow you to select two pass encoding. Or I guess it just doesn't allow you to deselect in this version, which is fine. Um, I want to be I want to be able to select my uh, bit rate at that particular bit rate and I just go dish down I'm gonna name your file dish down <clears throat> dish down to hit OK and render the file <clears throat> so now it's just going into rendering and because it's only about a 15 a little bit more than 15 second clip it's gonna render it pretty fast because it's not a very long clip so that's a little trick. Uh, what I recommend um, to do fast motion is just to pre-render it. Maybe some people have Kden Live working and they don't have to go about doing this, but I've just found this is the way that works for me. Uh, I've used Ulead Media Studio back in the early 2000s, and back then it seemed to be able to do that all that in the editor, but some of these modern editors like this one just can't do that, so I have to take this step. Uh, maybe someone can answer this in my comments why it does this. Um, but anyway, it works for me and I'm able to get the fast motion effect that I'm looking for. And I'm just going to probably put some music or something or a, a um, uh, voiceover during that section of the video. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free-to-air satellite reception.